Hello, my friends. Welcome to a video that is all about romantic stuff and activities that you can do here in Edinburgh. As you can probably deduce, this was supposed to be our Valentine's Day video, um, but that didn't work out because I got the flu and we had to cancel our Valentine's Day plans together with the second half of shooting this video. For that reason, you might notice that throughout this video, my hair length and color kind of slightly changes. Anywho, we are taking you to five amazing places to take your significant other to. And the first one is all about chocolate. So our first stop was probably the most obvious thing to do romantically, especially if you're looking for like a Valentine's Day date, and that's chocolate. And when I think chocolate, I think Maytree, which is a great cafe here in Brunsfield. It's a really cozy space and most importantly, it's great for hot chocolate. And in Edinburgh, hot chocolate season is like September to May, so most of the year really. They do have about, I would say like eight types of hot chocolate of the like specialized single origin ones. And on top of that, they also have the Mayan, which I tried today. I had to come back here to try the Mayan because it sounds amazing. That's the slightly spiced one with like cardamom and chili and it's smaller than their usual chocolate. So the ones you saw during our visit, those are actually the short ones. The regular hot chocolates are probably about double the size, but you have to be really invested, like you have to be really in the mood for hot chocolate because there is a lot of it and it will just keep you going for a long time. Simon tried the Italian one, which was super thick and quite sweet as well. The Mayan one is more on the sort of like dark chocolate, bitter spiced side. Simon's one was just like almost like puddingy, sweet, thick Italian of like a double espresso sized one. Uh, alongside that we tried some of their carrot cake which was also amazing. They have such good cream cheese frosting. I never had that before and I can only recommend it. Uh, in the summer if you don't feel like having a romantic hot chocolate maybe you can have a romantic gelato from them instead and then eat it here in Brunsfield Links. Sometimes a romantic park. If you're looking for more of a creative date, I can really recommend Doodles here on Marchmont Crescent. So the concept here is you basically come in, book first, then come in. Uh, you pick either a bowl or a mug or a plate or pretty much anything. I'm pretty sure that they have like a ceramic Xbox controller if that's something you want to paint. Anyway, you pick one, it's all blank. You get to borrow all of their paints and stuff like that and decorate it any way you want it. Uh, then you pay for it. It's usually between like 15, 30 pounds. Um, they're gonna glaze it and finish it for you and it's gonna be ready for you in a week. Thanks to movie magic, by which I mean flu magic, I already have my bowl with me. So you can see this thing that I made for originally the cat uh, <laughs> a month ago. Um, has me and Simon on it and all sorts of beautiful pictures um, depicting the everyday life of our cat. They're open every day. The opening hours vary a bit. Some days I think they close like five-ish or six-ish. Some days they close at nine. So check it out first. Again, they advise everyone to book first because you know some days they are really busy. And if your boo can't come with you, you can also just uh, book this just for yourself and make them a beautiful mug as perhaps a romantic prezi.
If you and your boo are lovers of the cheesy things, you should, oh no, you must visit one of the Melis cheesemongers shops. Chances are that you've already done some of your own research, so you know that you want to visit, but we did extra research and we know which one of them is the most romantic one of them all. It's the one in Morningside, because that one has this uh, delicious hidden spot right behind the landscapes of wheels of cheese. It's called the Cheese Lounge and you can get a uh, Welsh rarebit, which you will order because you will probably just want to say it out loud. Welsh rarebit. I love saying the word rarebit. Do you like saying rarebit? Then give me a like down below. Anyway, <laughs> we had a charcuterie board and we had some amazing wines. Like one of the wines just, it tasted like violets and mushrooms, but like in the best way imaginable. It feels almost French, which adds, you know, extra romanticness. Not that Scottish feeling things are not romantic, but um, this is something new and I've never been to a place like that in Edinburgh ever before. So you guys have to listen to this pro tip and go check it out if you're at least a little bit lactose tolerant. So this behind me is the Dominion Cinema and I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, oh, cat, we have cinemas in my town as well. But no, you don't have a cinema like this. Or maybe you do, but you probably don't go to it. So if you're in Edinburgh and you want to do a romantic thing, you should go to Dominion Cinema. So what makes this cinema more romantic than other cinemas is that in the first class screen you get to sit in a super comfy sofa, you get to put your legs up and you also you know, don't have to share any personal space with strangers. You have this nice kind of enclosed space almost with just your significant other. In the evening screenings you also get some free snacks, um, you also get table service that makes it feel all very premium and you know, like you're treating your, your partner to a real date. Oh, and also they stock Lucas ice cream. And if you watched our video about ice cream, you know that Lucas is one of our favorites. Uh, so this is pretty much one of the best places to get it, apart from the actual Lucas ice cream place, which is just kind of around a couple of corners from here. And as I mentioned before, this is Morningside. So this is not like the super touristy center, but it is very much still a part of Edinburgh that's worth exploring. For example, if you want to see the Western Street, you know, that was in our Hidden Gems video, that's around the corner from here. Win. Our last datey location was a cocktail bar that's called The Last Ward Saloon. It is down in the hip area of Stockbridge, uh, surrounded by all sorts of other amazing places, record stores, charity shops, Korean food places. You know, so if you're down there, there's definitely a lot to explore. It is owned by the same people who owned the world famous Bramble, which is in the city center. but. I do quite like that this one is a bit far away from the city center, which means there's usually less people, especially if you go kind of Monday to Thursday. It's very chill. We have tried a bunch of drinks and they are all very inventive when it comes to mixing of the flavors. Um, I always love perusing the menu and seeing what new stuff they will come up with. It's quite fascinating to me. So yeah, if you are fond of a nice original drinkable concoction, you should head down to Last Word Saloon for one of their amazing cocktails. So those were our tips for a romantic day out in Edinburgh. 
Also, obviously, a lot of these need you to invest some money into them. So um, if you're on a low budget, there's always things that you can do that are still fairly romantic and you don't have to pay for them. For example, we have so many cute places in Edinburgh that you can watch the sunset from. If you're an adventurous person, you can go all the way up to Arthur's Seat, especially if it's not winter time, because um, around then the night will fall super fast and you might not find your way home. There are no lights in the Hollywood Park. So if you go to Arthur's Seat and you get lost, then that wasn't my idea. That's on you. And obviously you can go to Calton Hill, from which you have that amazing, iconic postcard view of uh, Princess Street and Princess Street Gardens and the castle and Old Town. And the sun kind of sets just, just there over that beautiful cathedral in West End. Um, yeah, so that one works too. Anyway, I hope that you all liked all the inspiration I tried to infuse this video with and uh, let me know in the comments below if you've tried any of these either with your significant other or on your own. As always, if you enjoy this video, I will super appreciate if you subscribe and like this video and obviously ring that little bell. I do actually have access to all the data that tells me that most of you do not hit that little bell thing. So maybe you're missing out on all that amazing content that I post a month later than I was planning to. I am also somewhat active on other social media, particularly on Instagram. You can meet me there either under Kaki Bot for my illustrations or Kaki Blog for my photos from travels and, and such. Nowadays, it's not super easy to travel places, but uh, I'll try. Maybe I will deep dive into my archives. And yeah, that's everything from me. Hopefully you like this video and I shall see you soon. Bye.